There we go, we've turned it all around. Now we can grab our fill bucket, grab the right colour, and fill it in. And then go through and do that to all of the different drawings. Fill. And there we go. Now we can rotate it all back round. Now what we can actually do to save time is if you grab the select tool, now the difference between these tools here and these tools here is that these are for drawing and for editing your how, how it looks, whereas these are for motion, you've got your select tool, your motion select tool, your transform tool, rotate, scale and motion. So they're divided like that. Now we are in drawing mode, you can tell generally because you've got this grid and also because there's no square around what you're drawing. Now if we come into camera view, as you can see we have clicked on this one here, drawing view, come into camera view, we're now, this is what your final thing is going to look like. So with our select tool selected, we're going to rotate our object. Now notice it rotates around this blue point, we can move this point by simply grabbing and moving it and then it will rotate and it will scale around that point control Z or command Z to undo just like any other application but when we click off of it and click back on it's gone back to that point now this is very annoying so the way we get rid of this is we press on the rotate tool so I'm going to press control Z again or command Z on the Mac to go back to here and then we're going to move this rotate pivot point to the bottom now, obviously it's it's not the most convenient place for where it was, but in the future this is going to be a very convenient point to rotate and pivot around. Now that we've got that set up, our object is looking very fiery. If we just click on the play button up here, we can test that. Not too bad. I might want to widen it though, because then that looks better. Now. We're going to make it up of a few different layers, so if we right click and press duplicate element, duplicate, duplicate element, and do this until five, five should be enough. As you can see, they're all perfectly in sync. At the moment they look like a I think they actually look like dancing rabbits. That could just be me. You might not be able to see that, but that's what I think. So the way we're going to change this is by offsetting them. What I mean by that is, you see this zoom magnification tool? Grab the little bar, move it so we can see all our frames. Very similar to other applications. Now the way we're going to change this unified pattern is we're going to highlight all the frames just move them over. So we're going to move that one over one frame, highlight all of these frames, move that over by two or three, and then just randomly give this a bit of a bit more live sense. See it looks a lot more wildfire but there's lots of gaps and it's not looking too pretty at the moment so we're going to change this by making sure we've got the select tool we're making sure we've got the select tool because if you use the transform tool it's going to add keyframes which we don't want to do right now so make sure we've got the select tool selected and then we can mess around with these we're going to flip that one this one here we're going to scale it up actually scale it up like that this one we're going to scale down and flip that. That looks a bit too outrageous. However, we will make it wide, but the down one wide, like that. This one wide and down again in the background, and here we're going to scale it up about there. That looks pretty good. So, mm, I'm not totally convinced yet. It's looking good though. Might want to 
I mean, you spend as much time as you want rearranging these. I'm just showing you the technique so you can apply it however you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. Well, not looking too bad, I guess. So, we're going to add a background layer now. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this little plus icon, add a new drawing, we're going to call it BG, short for background, not anything else, I can assure you. Come to our drawing view, click on this tab. You know what? Let's go back to our default. See this blue colour? We can turn that into a gradient by making that one a black. There we go, very simple. I like that. And then, hold down on the arrow, get the rectangle tool. Then we're going to press the Z key to zoom out. And then we can draw our square. And then we can fill it with our colour with the fill bucket tool. Grab the select tool, highlight it all, and then grab the little handle, rotate it, make sure the blue ends up about 90 degrees. Come back to the camera panel. We're at the moment we're still in drawing view, which means that press the Z key to zoom out. We're still editing this shape. We don't want to do that. So if we click on this select tool, it's going to bring us back to reality. And at the moment, this layer, as we can see in our in our timeline, is above all the others. Now we want to bring it underneath. So just click it and drag it down. But as you can see, it only lasts one frame. So the way we correct this, we right click on that and press extend exposure. And we're going to extend it to frame 81 an extra frame because it's good always good to do that now as you can see all our fire press the X key to zoom the X key to zoom in here all our fire and our background is looking pretty good there we go nice live fire now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go file export movie we're going to export it as a flash. We don't need any of these ticked. Now, the JPEG quality, um, anything above 50 will look good. We're just going to set it to 70. Okay. Frames, we're going to go from frame 10, because, as you can see, where we offset it, we're missing a few frames. We're just going to go from, say, frame 10 to be safe, and we're going to go to frame 80. Make sure we tick this box, Timeline Current Scene, Flash Movie, it's all good. Uncheck this box because you don't actually need it and there we go. Now you can choose the location, I saved it under my fire tutorial, We're gonna, I'm going to call it Fire02 because I've created this file before. And then just press OK. and that's just telling me everything's fine and dandy now if we come into our folder where we saved it you can see there it is fire row 2 play this one and there you go it's on a loop it's looking good me come on for like 10-15 minutes work it's not bad is it I mean people can tell it's fire no one's gonna think it's dancing rabbits I think you can be pretty chuffed with yourself until next time, this is Daniel Allen from TuckCast.com. See you next time.